This Sunday, a daredevil hustler named Evil Knievel, who's made a national reputation jumping motorcycles over lines and cars and trucks, will try to cross a 1,700-foot canyon in Idaho riding a rocket. So far, thousands of people have paid $25 each to be on hand when he tries it. If he makes it, he'll be many times a millionaire. If he doesn't, he'll be dead. And either way, what's happening at the Snake River Canyon this week is one of the more grotesque spectacles in our history. Jack Perkins is there. The motorcycle races are a prelude to the main event here Sunday. It's appropriate. And this is how he got here. For 20 years, Evil Knievel has been riding motorcycles. Sunday, he'll ride a rocket. The rocket is 13 feet long, open cockpit, powered by steam. 5,000 pounds thrust, will go 400 miles an hour, cross a 1,700-foot canyon, land by parachute about a mile away. And Evil Knievel, if all that works, will have made maybe 10, maybe 15 million dollars. For the souvenir seeker, one may purchase here his official Evil Knievel t-shirt, Evil Knievel poster, Evil Knievel commemorative coin, Evil Knievel buckle inscribed last of the gladiators, Evil Knievel patch, Evil Knievel button. For children, the toy department has Evil Knievel doll to fit on model Evil Knievel sky cycle or in Evil Knievel stunt car. And for the art appreciator, quarter life-size Evil Knievel sculpture. Bronze, $5,000. May be ordered in silver, $22,500. Or 24 karat gold, $150,000. And Evil Knievel gets a percentage of all of this. This is one of the promoters of this event. One gets the feeling that every hype, hoopla, and hustle artist in the world is in Twin Falls this week. Who's left for them to call? Harold. I lost Harold. I hung up the wrong phone. <laughs> when Knievel flies into town each day in his two Lear jets, his pilot, whose last name is McCollum and whose first name is Watcha, his pilot, Watcher McCollum, and his co-pilot wear crimson crushed velvet dinner jackets. You are the only pilots in the country who dress like that, huh? That's right. You ought to see your socks and underwear. Robert Truax, veteran of NASA's space program, the man who built this rocket and will get a $100,000 bonus if it works right, Robert Truax does not think Knievel is taking much of a risk. A lot of people have, have taken greater risks and maybe for less money. All I can tell you is when it comes time, I'm going to get in it. And I'm going to let them uh, blast me, and I hope that everybody there will blow like hell behind me because I'm going to need all the help that I can get. The canyon is only 1,700 feet across. Rocket men say that's a small step for man. The promoters say it will be a giant leap for mankind. So, take your choice. The man who has moved up from riding motorcycles to riding a rocket. Is he a folk hero? Or is he just one of the more proficient hype, hoopla, and hustle artists? Hero or hustler? Or, for Americans, are those the same thing? Jack Perkins, NBC News, Twin Falls, Idaho. This event, it seems to me, calls for some personal comment. It's one thing for a man to risk his life foolishly or courageously. That's human nature. But it's another thing to exploit it for money or to travel hundreds of miles and pay admission to see him do it. That's not human nature. That's barbarism. Good night for NBC News.